Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, as you saw, I'm going to show you how to do parity on all four big cubes. So let's get started. Parity is when you get to a case in a cube and you need an extra algorithm to solve it that's different from normal three by three. And that's what I'm going to show you and tell you the different algorithms that you use in this video. And it's only on big cubes because three by three and smaller then you use three by three algorithms, but for four by four, five by five, six by six, and seven by seven, you use other algorithms. And that's the parity that I'm going to show you. Now, for some of you who do square one, there's also square one parity, but I have another video about that and I'll link it in the description. The timestamps for all of these parodies will be in the description, so check that down below if you wanna see. All right, now back to the video. So starting with four by four parity, I have a notation tutorial and I'll link that in the description below because most of the stuff is advanced notation and you guys need to know big cube notation to know this stuff. So I have a notation tutorial that I'll link in the description below. Now for four by four, I have a couple tips and I have a playlist of shorts that I made for tips for four by four and I'll link that in the description too because that's a couple tips to help you get faster at four by four and I'll mention one of them, but I'll link the rest of the tips in the description. Now for four by four, there's two parodies and you guys may know them it's the edge flip and the edge swap and starting with the edge flip it looks like this and this is what it looks like now it also can look something like this where you only have one edge but it's either one or three edges because when you're taught to solve a three by three you're taught to solve it with two or zero edges. And to solve the cross in this step, first what you wanna do is you want to put an edge in the front that's the flipped edge. So if you have three solved edges, just put the one incorrect edge in the front. Or if you have it like this, just put it like that. And then what you do is you do this algorithm that I'm going to show you. The algorithm will be at the top of the screen so you can read along with that and watch my hands as I'm moving. And that's the algorithm. And now, as you can see, you have a much easier case to solve for the OLL. Now, PLL parity looks something like this, where you have these two edges and you need to swap them like that. And on three by three, we have the H perm, but that swaps the edges across from each other and the edges across from each other on that side too. But we only have two that we need to swap. And this also can work if you have to swap two edges next to each other. And the algorithm that you use goes just like this. And that's how you swap those two edges. Now, if you want to swap the adjacent ones, I have a short video that I'll have linked in the parity tips for four x four shorts playlist. And you guys can go check that out for more tips on four x four parity. So those are the two parodies for four x four. And now let's move on to five x five. All right, now starting off with five x five, we only have one parity and that's the edge flip parity. So you need to swap these two edges and flip them. And the reason we only have one parity is because this is an odd numbered cube, which means there's always the edge in the middle. So this edge always stays the same as with all the other middle edges so we don't need to flip this edge or swap the edges because they always stay the same so we just need to swap those two edges and if you have this case where you need to swap those two edges and flip them the algorithm goes like this it is the same as the one for four by four you just don't use the middle layer and that should give you that nice edge right there. So that's the only parody for five by five, but before we move on to six by six, we'll have a quick intermission. All right guys, thank you for watching this video, and if you're enjoying it, and if this video is helping you, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button, and also be sure to subscribe because that also helps me out a lot. I put on a lot of work to these videos, and with you guys subscribing, that really helps me out a lot, and it really shows how my work is paying off. So please be sure to hit the subscribe button and let me know if you're liking the video. Also, if you have any questions, comment them down below because I'll be sure to respond to you. Now back to the video. So for six by six, there's three parodies combined with the four by four ones and the five by five one. And I'm going to show you all three. Now there is a way to avoid all three parodies. And I have a video that I'll link down below on how to avoid three parodies. So you don't have to get triple parody, but you may get double parody. Now first for the edge flip parody, it will look something like this. And it's very similar to the four by four one. And you do the same algorithm, just use the bigger half block like that.
And that's the algorithm to solve that flipped edge. Now for the edge swap parity, it's also the same thing as the four x four, you just use bigger slices. And if you wanna swap those two edges, it goes like this. And that's how you swap the two edges for six by six parity. Now for the last one, the edge pairing parity. It will look something like this where you have all the other edges solved except for this one right here. And it's also the same thing as the five by five one. You just use the two outer slices and it goes like this. And that's the same thing as the other one. You just don't use this slice right here when doing the algorithm. So that's all of them for six by six. Now for seven by seven, like five by five, since it's an odd numbered cube, there's no edge swap parity or edge flip parity. So you only have this edge pairing parity. Now, if you have the one edge in the middle and then you have these two that need to be flipped, you do it like this. And that's how you flip that edge. Now the second edge pairing parity you can have on seven by seven is what looks like this, where you have these three middle ones solved, but you just have to flip those two outer ones. And it's the same thing, you just use the two outer slices instead of the three. And now for the one last edge pairing parity, it looks like this, where none of the edges are matching and you need to swap those two inner ones to make it look like the rest of the edges. Now to solve this case, you could do a combination of the other two parodies, but there's a quicker way and it goes like this. What you do is you just use the slice moves that are like this and then you solve the parity. and that solves that edge. Now, by the end of the video, you probably have figured out that all the parity algorithms are relative to each other, and it's mostly just two algorithms that you need to know. You just need to know how to apply them differently, and that's basically what parity is on big cubes. There's the edge pairing and the edge flip parity that are pretty much the same thing. You just need to know how to apply them, and then there's the edge swap parity, which is only on even numbered cubes, and then you also need to know that algorithm too. So it's basically just two algorithms you need to know, and once you memorize them, it's real easy. You just need to know how to apply them to the different cubes that are four by four or plus. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I'm just showing you how to do parity and the algorithms for four by four plus big cubes. It is relatively simple, and on cubes bigger than seven by seven, it's basically the same thing. I hope this video helped you and you got to learn a lot and how to do these parodies from this video. And if you have any questions, please be sure to comment them down below in the comments section so that I'll be able to help you and answer your questions because I answer all the comments and hopefully I can help you with your questions. A reminder that all the videos that I mentioned in this video will be linked in the description below so you guys can check them out if you want to see them as well as the timestamps and also as well as the cubes I use. So if you guys want to buy any of these cubes, be sure to check the description below. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.